Hello? Oh, fuck my life. I really... Hello, is this working? I hope, I hope this is working. Um, I don't know how to work any of my camera equipment. My ex-husband used to set that up for me. So I've tried to learn so that, cause I like to be an independent woman. But the truth is I've been having the echoiest audio for the past few videos, so. Today's video, I was just gonna sit down and like, I was doing this like fun little TikTok idea that I had in mind and I was like, you know what? I'm about to use a Lime Crime palette for the first time. And I say first time, I used literally only this shade for my crease yesterday. So I got a package from Lime Crime. I have never used Lime Crime. I'm not really sure. It's, it's taking me a very long time to use Lime Crime. One of my friends just started working there and she was like, hey, would you like some Lime Crime product? I've never been asked to be on the Lime Crime PR ever. So I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. We're gonna go ahead and use some eyeshadow palettes today. So the ones that I got is, I got Greatest Hits Classic right here. And then I also got Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers. I started swatching them on my hand and honestly, I've been doing such natural makeup looks lately that like, I feel like I don't even know how to wear a lot of eyeshadow. I really need an espresso, I'm nervous. Let's see how we do. Oh, I also got this. This is like, has two products in it. I don't really wear shiny gloss or shiny lipstick, so I'll probably just gift this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on my Dose of Colors concealer on my eyelid and then we can start with the eyeshadow and see what we think. I like to check out darker shades with brands that I've never used before because it really puts them to the test. I mean, I'm somewhat forgiving because I do realize that it is difficult. Darker shades that aren't patchy and stuff are really hard to make, especially like the reds and stuff. I'm going to powder my eye with a little bit of my, what is this, Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. Just put that right on top. If you hear that, it's my ferrets. <laughs> okay, so because I wanna get my feet wet with a little bit of their red, I'm gonna be using Muse right here for my eyelid area, and then I'm gonna go in with this to blend it out. Oh, wow, there's a lot of kickback on that. So I haven't done much of an update on my thoughts on The Bachelorette. I was gonna go live the other night and then basically everyone on Instagram told me to fuck off, so I didn't. <laughs> this is going on pretty evenly right now, actually. I'm pretty impressed. This is a really pretty color too. I'm kind of just trying to use the fallout that I created to pick up on my brush right now. But, so I really didn't like Taysha before. Like I could not stand her on Colton season. I think mostly what it was is how she handled the situation and I honestly couldn't even tell you what that was because I don't remember, but I remember being annoyed with how she handled it. I'm like a weird, I'm like weird with like sound and noise and stuff and her voice just really bothered me. It just wasn't for me. Like not that she has an annoying voice, but it was so like valley girl to me. I think it's really cool finally that they're getting someone that isn't just some random white girl on the show because it's kind of seems like that's just been Bachelor Nation's MO and just like recently they're like, oh, okay, okay, people actually care about other people that aren't just little white girls. Like, let me put some other girls on here. So I appreciate that. But I also would like to know when they're gonna do like people that aren't like stick skinny. Like, can we have like maybe a gay bachelorette or bachelor? or like someone that is like overweight or just thicker. But I'm gonna see if I can just kind of like how well this wants to blend out. So far, so good. I just kind of want to see like if, if I just strictly wanted to use this and not use a blending out shade, how it does. Cause a lot of shades you need another shade similar to it in order to like blend out as seam seamlessly as humanly possible. Okay, that's like blending out like pretty good. Like it needs more work, but let me do the other one and then we'll go in with our transition shade. This isn't sticking super great right there in the crease. Can you guys see that? It's like kind of not sticking right there and right there, like just directly in the crease. I'm gonna try and build that back up once we put this other shade on here. So I'm gonna go in with our mustard shade. It's just called mustard. 
clever name choice there. I love it. So we're gonna just apply this right over the top and see what happens. Hello! I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. This freaking scar. This is from a chemical peel on my face. Dr. Barrett in Beverly Hills did that to my face. <sighs> I went to him because he does a lot of uh, Kristen Dominique's um, surgeries and stuff and he ruined my face. I feel like for blending the other shade on top, like not much of this went anywhere, which is usually not the case. Like usually when you're blending like this in your crease, a lot of this disappears. And I didn't even use an eyeshadow primer, so. So far so good. So that was kind of like the fallout on my face. So it's to be on my period right now. And I just started like breaking out on my chin, but like there's no period. Like where are you, Aunt Flo? So I took a pregnancy test this morning. I'm not pregnant. This looks freaking cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and then come back. Um, what I'm gonna use for my face though, I just did wanna mention that I'm using Morphe 2. I think I'll probably be using, I've been mixing shades, so I'll probably be using these two. If you don't know what Morphe 2 is, this is Morphe's like, more natural, simplistic, like natural line, I guess. This is the only foundation I've been wearing lately. It does need quite a bit of powder and I do always bring powder with me if I'm gonna be gone for a few hours. But this is in shade Hint of Almond and then Hint of Beige. I've been mixing these together to kind of get my right match because I don't know if the camera shows, but like my body is a way more tan than my face right now because I've been tanning at the tanning bed at my gym. Don't tell anybody. So once I do my makeup, I'll be right back and then I'm gonna do my lower lash line and everything, and then we'll see how this settles in, and I'll talk to you guys about my final thoughts of this palette. And we are back. Okay, so I finished my makeup. I took about an hour trying to film this damn TikTok. <laughs> I'm still learning with TikTok, okay? Work with me here. Okay, so I realized in the beginning of this video I didn't talk like really anything about like the color composition in the palette or the price of the palette. I'm still getting back into the groove of things here on YouTube. I mean, honestly, I never was really that great at it anyway. <laughs> but anyways, this is, I think, gosh, I already forgot by now, 58 or $59. I actually really like the color makeup of this palette. What does it for me is the, there's some like duochrome, like this one's a little bit duochrome, and then, but still having these like really warm, rich shades in there. So I really do like that. I love the giant mirror in here. It's pretty lightweight, so if you wanna travel with it, that's great. So, so far I've really only used two shades out of this palette, so I can't really say whether I think this palette is worth it or not, but I do have to say that based on what I worked with today, I would definitely keep this palette around. Sometimes I'll use a palette and I'll even just use a few shades out of it, and I'm like, absolutely not. This is going in the giveaway pile, and I'm just immediately like over it. But this one, so far I'm really liking. I've had it on now for about an hour since, probably a little over an hour since you guys saw me last. Um, and it hasn't like done any weird creasing or anything like that. And we kind of mostly covered up the creased area where it wasn't really sticking. So overall, I'm pretty stoked on it. Oh geez, I almost dropped. I don't think you can tell on camera, maybe you can, how rich that is, but that is so pretty. Anyways, like I was saying, reds like this usually are pretty splotchy and hard to work with. So the fact that that wasn't is great. What do you guys think about Lime Crime? What do you think about their products? Don't talk to me about their hair color because I own a hair color line. Don't do that to me, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video.